Hey everybody, Ozzy Stern here, Leak Project. How the heck are you? Getting my feng shui on out here in southern Colorado. As you can see, I've got a custom, handcrafted, limited edition EMF protective liner. And these actually are included with these really cool Leak Project hats. I've got a few of these left. And I just said, you know, I want to wear just the liner today because I want to show off my amazing hair. And I would also like to talk to you about some of these incredible comments that have recently been released here on the Leak Project YouTube channel, youtube.com slash clandestine time lord. And it's time to troll the trolls. Okay, so the first one is from Susan. Susan says, do you wear those goofy hats every day because you are bald or is it because you are Jewish. Well, Susan, are those my only two options? George, George T says, it's not our binary star. It belongs to blacks and Africans only. Stars are souls. If you are a true human, your binary cannot harm you. If you have animal DNA like dog, pig, chimp, or Neanderthal, then Nibiru is here to destroy you, not help you for what you have done to the planet and its original people. They are not. Multiple explanation points. Nibiru, Nebhet, Haru, or Greeks say Nephthys, Horus, Nebhet is the sister of Isis, and Haru is the son of Asar or Osiris. These are not people. These are the cosmic forces coming to right the wrongs because blacks and Africans have been calling out to our ancestors to save us from the Europeans and Asians who refuse to stop slaughtering us and stealing us, stealing from us all over this realm that belongs to us. Wow, George, that's fascinating. I, I never knew there was a connection there. I, I never knew that skin color, pigmentation of skin, had to do with Nibiru. That's, that's fascinating. Thank you for sharing that, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Uh, and then George comes on again and he says, all the planets, including the sun and the moon, are very close. Like within hundreds of miles. The sun and moons are just miles away. You can fly to any of them past the poles, which don't really exist. If the military wasn't shooting everything down because they want to hoard the alien technology to make more weapons to keep killing everyone on the planet, your five senses are useless beyond protecting your physical body from harm. They were tailored to make you believe in the globe lie. Your senses are just the pentagram keeping you locked in 3D with the fourth and five physical senses. You have to use higher senses, the sixth and seventh senses, or 69th sense. Hello. Bingo. The elite are dark magicians, and they know how to limit us by getting us to give them our energy with money, false god worship, religion, blood, sugar, sex magic, the Chili Peppers know about it. There you go, folks. The Chili Peppers know about it. And it's all the Europeans and Asians' fault, according to George. And Nibiru is here to wipe out people based on the pigmentation of their skin. I never knew. I mean, this is just crazy, George. I mean, George, can't we all just get along, man? Does it really matter what color the skin is? I mean, I know, I know blue people and green people and, and black people, and brown people, and yellow people, and red people, and white people, and, and people that, like the unicorn people, the unicorn people are cool too, so can't we all just get along, man? Can't we all just get along? I don't know. I don't know. I hope so. I think we can all get along, don't you? Okay, have a good day, George. Have a good day. So, Seeking the Truth says, you're a shite for brains, dude. I've been called worse. And 88 Barrister says, do we, re do we really need you babbling for 12 minutes before you get to the heart of this matter? Your thoughts are way too disorganized to hold an audience. Your title indicated that you had a decoded letter. It was very difficult to watch. You basically talk stream of consciousness and read from the internet. Just some helpful criticism. You suck, dude. Why not actually learn the material you are wanting to present before you actually present it? Well... Because then it wouldn't be nearly as much fun, dude. Get it? 
Hello, that's some constructive criticism for you, buddy. You have a beautiful day just here to help. And then end of days says, na 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 nu, na na, you're an effing psychopath. All caps, exclamation point. I'm the psychopath. Okay, buddy. Wow. Um, Lori says, <laughs> Lori says, I think you should trade your tin hat cap to a mirrored sombrero or a mirrored sombrero. I actually have a tinfoil sombrero, and I've done podcasts with it before. I'll share that on a future podcast. And then the architect with the Lucifer Sidzil says, or Sidzil, Sidzil, says, wouldn't it be hilarious if you are a matrix projection? No, that would really suck. So why would you even have to ask that question or bring that up? Now you're hurting the feelings of matrix projections, man. Come on, man. Matrix projection. Huh? Okay, take it easy, man. Matrix projections and stuff. Woo! 3D, 4D, 5D, dimension, rotate, analytical and stuff, prolixing, sesquipedalian. Matt C. says, so that's what you are doing now is just segueing into commercials. I mean, I get it, survival needs, but goodbye. Well, Matt C., now that you bring that up, I almost forgot. Thank you. I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors. You should check out virtualshield.com slash league project 20% discount less than five bucks a month and a 30-day free trial try it for free if you want to keep your information safe and anonymous from big data spies you have the right to keep your information to yourself less than five bucks a month it's awesome it works it's easy to see how well it works check it out virtualshield.com slash league project click the link all right try it out for free you'll be glad you did Thank you for that reminder, Matt. Thank you. Now, Gennaro says, the only thing harder naturally right now is me. I love this stuff. Hello. Wow. Swing. Take it easy. Take it easy, man. All right. So, Rich, <laughs> the only thing harder naturally right now is me. He's flexing. Flexing the muscles. Rich F says, I'll be glued here for almost four hours. And that was in reference to a four-hour podcast last night. Good. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching the podcast. And thank you for supporting Leak Project. You're awesome. Citizen Journalist, or Citizen Journalist says, Ridiculously long, with very little information, literally just some long-winded guy's opinion. Well, kind of like your long-winded comment opinion there on the comment section. Thank you, Citizen Journalists. You have a beautiful day. And would you like to hear an opinion of mine? I'll share it with you later. Dirty H says, as a great man once said, Planet X ain't coming, because ain't no space, because ain't not globe Earth. Obama turned my frog gay. 9-11, hail Satan. That's a rocket ship. Dirty H, you are established in the comment section. Thank you for leaving that. Incredible comment. I had no idea that Obama turned your frog gay. So hopefully you're okay with that. All right, man. Dolores says, Dolores Lizzie says, your weird effing hat needs to go into the trash. Well, I think you're, never mind. I'm not going to say it. Whew. Must not compute. And then this dude, I can't even say his name because I think it's in like Czechoslovakian. Amazing. Even after hearing Enochian pronounced correctly, he still says it wrong. Nice one. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Let it be. I had to stop watching your videos. Who has four hours to spend? They used to be short enough I could watch while doing dishes or cooking dinner, but now W-T-H question mark. Crazy. Well, I guess you don't know how to hit the pause button when you get done with the dishes. Until next time. Elizabeth S. Elizabeth S. says, Shill. Oh, yeah, totally, Elizabeth. Thank you for that. Shill. Shill. You're a shill, dude. Beverly says, Kid, 
What have you got on your head? You do make me laugh sometimes. You can be so silly. Thanks, Beverly. Have a wonderful day. Appreciate you watching the program. Thank you for your support. Jaden Furry says, Planet X is not even real. Thank you for that. I'm convinced now. The Lamb Lucifer says, I want credit for that live chat I owned y'all. Okay. The only thing that I think you owned was your own ignorance, but enjoy it, Mr. Lamb, because it's so knowledgeable. Miguel says, this dude's an effing joke. People can make so much shite up now, and other people will easily fall for this shite now at days. Not nowadays, it's now at days. Well, thank you, Miguel. You have a beautiful day. I appreciate your opinion, and you all know that it's powerful because you said it in the comment section. Yale says, Rex is an idiot. And then Yale comes back on to say, can someone edit this so it's only the guest speaking? Well, I don't know. Can you? Or are you not smart enough? And you're the one calling me an idiot, and you can't even edit something. I'm, I'm, I don't understand. Yes, I do, but I'm not going to explain it here, because if I did, I think that it might go for a little, it might be a little long-winded, to say the least. But you know what? Yale... I'm sure you have a, a, a wonderful heart, and you know I'm, I'll bet you that your IQ is like, you're, you're probably up there with Einstein. You're brilliant. So uh, I'm not even going to get into a, a debate with, here, with you here because the editing would be just too much. The editing is too much. Who knows how to edit out a guest speaker talking in a podcast? Can somebody else do it because the speaker wrecks? is an idiot. Well, well, I think your words speak for themselves, yell. Rain says, thumb down just for repeating. Just look at it, dweeb. Will Rain? Will you just look at it? Will you just look at it? Just look at it. Just look at it. You just look at it. Mac Daddy says, would you just look at it? Where'd your Daryl Sims interview go? Well, it's still on the Week Project channel. It's a very good video. You have a problem with people speaking about Jesus. Yeah, you do. Watch this guy's reaction when someone mentions Jesus. He hates it. Draw your own conclusions. Mac, I love Jesus. And for you to say that, I'm thinking to myself, what would Jesus do right now? I mean, come on. Then Sean Card says, keep calm. Jesus is coming. This guy is a heretic and a blasphemer. Stop following him and follow Jesus and the Bible. Oh, okay. Well, which Bible do you want to follow? And which Jesus from which Bible would you like to follow? And which translation, which scripture, which prophecy? Are you talking the Ten Commandments? Or are you talking the entire Bible? Um, and if you attempted to follow the entire Bible, do you think you might actually lose your mind? Like literally? Well, I don't know. I'm just asking. But Robert Vincent says, Planet X is coming. Don't forget to buy gold. That's right. Why not? Everybody else is. Enjoy it while you can before Anunnaki take all the gold. Get it before they do. And say, come on, you ain't getting my gold. Go to Noble Gold Investments. They're awesome. Seriously, check them out. Do you make this shite up as you go along or do you throw darts? Once again, are those my only two options? Because throwing darts is fun while doing podcasts. I'll have to do that one of these days now. Thank you. He is another version of Alex Jones. Yo says he is another version of Alex Jones. Yeah, they, they, cloned, they cloned me and just tweaked it a little bit different in the DNA there, buddy. I am not another version of Alex Jones. Although I do like Alex. How you doing, Alex? May the force be with you, man. You guys should check out InfoWars. It's pretty cool. Can't wait to hear the troll comments on that. But you got to love Alex, man. He's been... He's been trolling the trolls now for, geez, 20 years now, approximately. Way to go, Alex. So then Johan comes out again and says, important, the man behind Leak Project is a man who do a professional spiritual warfare. What's a warfare, dude? He's a put there to destroy and nothing else matters. Johan, Johan, man. 
こう、くまや、くまや、くまや、くまや。Kumbaya. Is that better? Come on, man. I'm singing Kumbaya here. Jeez. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. I hope your ears aren't bleeding. Kurt says, if you got Jesus in you, you ain't got to worry about any of that stuff. He takes care of it for you. Keep worrying, people, until you come to Jesus. Wow. All right. So, for all of you out there, they're on. Never mind. I'm not even going to get into it. Thank you for that, Kurt. You have a great day. That is the answer for Kurt. And if it works for you, bro, right on, man. Frank James says in all caps, you're an effing whack job. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the trolling of the trolls. And I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. Out here in Colorado Springs, the weather is just absolutely gorgeous. Very few stratospheric aerosol injections in the skies. And elevation, about 8,000 feet right now. Might go to Wolf's Pass later. Have a couple great shows coming up tonight. Have, uh, I think I have an opportunity to speak with Jeffrey Darty and somebody else that is going to talk to us about the solar minimum and the cycles of the sun and the connections of our planet tonight. YouTube.com slash clandestine time lord. Also go to leakproject.com, become a premium member, get access to over 1,600 podcasts. Support our sponsors, support yourself, support freedom. Support the right to keep your information to yourself if you want to. VirtualShield.com slash Leak Project. Get the 20% discount. Get the 30-day free trial. Be excellent to each other and be the change you want to see.